Good afternoon and welcome to the results show for Class K in the Concord Virtual, presented by Haggerty and in aid of UNICEF. Class K is the Group A homologation class, open to 1982 to 1994 homologated cars. Group A cars were for World Rally and Touring cars, and they needed to be very close to their production cars. And what resulted was some quite amazing and some very special homologated specials, which nowadays are actually increasing very much in value from many of them. The class is sponsored by The Market, the Market is an online um, classified platform for classic and collector cars and their run rate is about 90% sales at the moment. So thank you very much to The Market for joining us in this particular class. So David, it's just the two of us today. Um, we've always had the, the class judge with us and actually you were the class judge for this particular class. So uh, if you could take us through the people's vote first, that would be great. Yeah. Okay, so um, for people's votes, this is uh, votes from website and social media. Always gets a great response. Now in third place, we have the 1984 Lancia 037. Uh, it belongs to Matthew Ivanhoe. Uh, this is the Stradale version of the famous, uh, actually, Group B rally car. But it kind of stretches and crosses over a little bit with our category. And it's such a special car that uh, we, we squeezed it in there. And if you take a look at it on the website, you'll kind of fall in love with it. It's quite, it's really quite an uh, amazing car. Second place, 1989 BMW M3 E30 Chicotto version. Uh, this is a car that's with uh, BMW Specialist Classic Heroes, uh, run by Barney Hulse. Anyone in, into BMWs knows Barney. Um, the Giacotto version of the M3 is named after Johnny Giacotto, who was a motorcycle racer and then moved into um, touring cars and things, uh, mostly for Team Schnitzer driving BMWs and for BMW Works team. And uh, so in his honour, they made a small number of these M3 E30s and uh, just a nice little special edition stands out from the, this stock M3. But even the stock M3 is quite special. Mm. Um, and then in first place, we have the 1992 Lancia Delta Integrale. Um, this is a 16 valve model, so it, uh, it slots in after the first of the eight valves, but before the Evo 1 and Evo 2. This car belongs to Tim McNair. Now, um, we might mention him later because it's quite funny, he's a Concorde prepar uh, preparation specialist. So, um, you know, if his car wasn't clean, you'd, you'd kind of be a bit upset. But I'll hand back to you for a moment, Jeff, and then uh, we'll be going through the judges' results. Great. Yeah, and it's, uh, th those, those three cars are good representations. And, and yeah, we know, we know Tim well. And as you say, if, uh, if he can't prepare uh, a car well for Concord, then uh, really we are, we're, we're all in trouble. That's what he does for a, does for a living. So uh, congratulations, Tim, on that particular win for, for the people's vote. And so, so over to the judges' vote. Um, I know you had a, you had a good, good jury for, for, for this particular um, class, David. Take us through how the judges came to their, their conclusion and then move on to three, two, and one. Yeah, we looked very much at um, how these cars sort of uh, worked with the actual rally car, um, how different they were from the road cars, because some weren't that different at all and some just pushed every boundary and every rule and uh, shorter wheelbases and different uh, panels uh, as in plastic and Kevlar, uh, very special engines. So the, the more the manufacturer had put into these cars, the higher our marks were really. And then we looked at condition as well because at this age of car, it's that funny stage where some have been sort of roughly restored some uh, have been kept fairly original and some have gone through amazing uh, concord level restorations um you know when you're talking cars that are 30 40 years old you're never quite sure what you're going to get these are all quite special um so our judges included harry metcalf uh best known for harry's garage and evo magazine 
um, Vicky Butler Henderson from uh, formerly Top Gear and uh, Fifth Gear. We had, um, I nearly forgot who else we had. Uh, <laughs> we had Marino Franchitti, it's been a long day. Uh, Marino Franchitti, a very well known racer. Um, Andrew English from the Daily Telegraph and Marek Reichman from um, Aston Martin. He's their, um, I think, director of design now. He might be uh, uh, given a, an even more special title. He's been there a long time and he's very, very influential. So to get Marek on there, that was pretty cool. Um, so between us, we uh, went back and forwards for quite a long time and we came up with third place, 1995, Ford Escort RS Cosworth. This belongs to Jason Harris. It's actually uh, one of two Escort Cosworths in the um, Concours. Um, but this, there are two versions. There are, there's a big turbo and there's a small turbo. Uh, the small turbo is actually the nicer car to drive quite often. And this is the small turbo version. Uh, where this really stands out is if you know Escort uh, RS Cosworth story, you'll know that Frank Stephenson, uh, the famous designer, he designed, it was one of his first jobs for Ford, he designed the rear wing with three slats. Um, now, much to his disgust, Ford went, mm, that's a bit too radical, thank you, and they changed it to two slats. For this car, he uh, helped the owners at the time create uh, his original thinking on the wing. So it's got the three slats on the wing. And they found it increases downforce by 30%, which is quite impressive. Um, and it's a very special car. It's not actually an Escort. It's built on a shortened um, Sierra, uh, which are sort of underpinnings. It's got the Cosworth engine. Uh, it's got a whole lot of bits and pieces. And this car lives in the USA, so it's a very rare thing in the US. And Jason Harris, the owner, is actually a Cosworth specialist out there. Uh, so uh, congratulations, Jason. I think that's a, a really good result. Second place, 1992 Lancia Delta Integrale, Tim McNairs. So I said we'd mention him again. Uh, so his polishing has paid off, but also the Integrale is a very, very special car. It um, came in as the Delta in 1979 as a, a good looking Gijaro designed saloon. Uh, it wasn't long before it got four wheel drive and a hotter engine bigger arches and it, um, in rally form, it just dominated the uh, World Rally Championship for a while. I'll have to check my notes because I can't quite remember, but there you go. Six World Championships, 46 WRC wins, which is just astonishing. Um, and there's a little nod on this car to the, the Group A uh, rally cars and it's got the rear spoiler on the roof and it's very, very upright. You look at it and you think it's the wrong angle. It's exactly the right angle. It's a proper factory um, spoiler on it. So it's a very cool car. And so we come to first place. Um, it's the 1986 Audi Sport Quattro. Uh, this car belongs to Audi UK. It's one of about uh, 50 cars on their fleet. And it's probably the star of their fleet, actually. Really special car. 200 Sport Quattros were built. About 20 came to the UK. This is obviously one of them. Um, the Sport Quattro, the Quattro itself is celebrating its 40th anniversary this year. So that was launched in 1980. Um, and then after a couple of years, just to keep up with the competition, Audi shortened the wheelbase, uh, developed a 16 valve twin overhead cam head, uh, alloy block, Kevlar and carbon fiber and uh, plastic bodywork. Um, really quite an impressive thing. It's, um, if you want an example of how quick it is, how impressive it is, 0 to 60 in 4.8 seconds. This is 1980s, uh, 155 miles an hour. It's only 306 bhp, but it's a light car. Um, so this is, I think, just a great one to win in its 40th anniversary. But even if it wasn't 40 years old, I think it would have won. It's still very, very special. So congratulations to Audi. Uh, we're have to see it at the top and uh with that i will hand back to jeff thank you very much well thank you david thank you for the insight um on each of those cars yeah from your explanation three very special cars 
um, in, the, in, the, in the judges' vote. And uh, it's uh, in the 1986 Audi Quattro Sport goes through to the um, best of show, where it's up against some really serious competition, isn't it? Um, from uh, yeah, Talbot Largo through to uh, some amazing it's a Lamborghini Countach, some amazing cars that it's up against. But I think it'll it, it should hold its own. Uh, it's uh, it's an important car and uh, really interesting. You're absolutely right, and uh, yeah. <laughs> We've got the traditional Concorde cars in there, but this is about more than just the sort of Concorde elegance. This is about cars that stand out historically, that kind of changed the car world. Um, and it'd be really interesting to see how the judges, and we've got a lot of judges on this best of show uh, last part, and uh, it'd be interesting to see what they make of it. Um, I think they're, they're rather like cars like this. It's quite refreshing to see. Yeah, I agree. No, we're looking forward to that, and that's the that's really the next um, stage in the in the process. We've got so one more one more class to announce, which is the uh, winner takes it all, which in itself is an amazing class. It's the I think sixteen uh, Concorde Delegance winners of the last year or so, and so that's going to be very very difficult to judge. Uh, and we're announcing the winners of that on Thursday, and then on Sunday on the 9th of August that's when we announced the, the best in show. So we've now got uh, 15 of the cars now lined up for the best in show. And we're just waiting for one more to join that, that lineup. And it's, uh, it's, a, it's an amazing mix that we've got coming to the, coming to the best of show awards on, on Sunday, right through from a 1893 Steam Wagonette, pre-war uh, supercars, through to poster cars of the 60s, 70s, 80s, and, uh, and now the Audi Quattro uh, Sport. So, uh, it's it's going to be difficult because it's a very eclectic mix. It's not what you would normally expect, I think, in a in a in a typical uh, concourse. But uh, uh, I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing what the judges make of it all. Yeah, I think it's going to be quite special. So um, yeah, do go on the website, do have a look. Um, and obviously, we can't not say. In fact, Jeff will say it again. Um, you've got to uh, please donate for UNICEF. We've put so much into this. There are so many people who've worked so hard for it. Uh, and it is all for the UNICEF Pandemic Fund. So if you can donate, please do. Well, you've said it for me this time, David. So uh, I'll leave it there, but uh, you're right. It's very important uh, that the work that we're trying to do here, just have a bit of fun, but also there's, a, there's an important message behind it. So thank you again. And uh, please everybody tune in and uh, see the, the rest of the results. Speak soon, bye.